Hi guys, welcome to Guru Beauty. The time has come, Australian girls. The Maybelline Eye Studio 24 hour color tattoos are in town. Now they have been spotted all over Australia in Big W, in Target, in Priceline, all over the place. And the best news is that they're retailing for about $11.95. I thought for sure they'd probably be around $15, but $11.95 is about the regular recommended retail price. Maybelline's always on sale somewhere between Target, Big W and Pricelines. Now I want to let you know some of the Pricelines have all 10 colors available. Some of the price lines here in Western Australia at least only have about five shades. And the five shades that my local price line has are the colorful ones. So they've got the blue, the green, the gold, the orange, that kind of thing, and none of the neutrals, which is disappointing. But do hunt around. You may find a price line that has all 10 of them like I did. For you West Australians, that was at Carousel price line and Carousel Target. Now at the end of this video, I'm going to give you some details about how you can enter to win all 10 shades of Maybelline Eye Studio color tattoos. So I do want to show you some swatches and want to let you know a little bit about my experience with the color tattoos. If you haven't heard of these before, what they are are long wearing cream eyeshadows. Now products like MAC paint pots, for some people they last on the eye all day long. There's also Benefit creaseless cream eyeshadows. Smashbox has come out with a whole range. Um, Buxom has come out with a whole range. You can find these long wearing cream eyeshadows around the place. What's great about these is that they're moderately priced, available in 10 different shades, from neutrals right through to very colorful. You can wear them on their own, all over your eye, as an accent, as a liner and it's going to stay for a very very long time. Now in my experience these are definitely waterproof, they definitely will last all day long. I do like to also top them with shadows. I've certainly enjoyed wearing them on their own on my eye but I'll also use it as an eyeshadow base and top with eyeshadow to give you know a certain dimension or an added pop of color. So this first one here is one of my very very favorites. This is the shade Too Cool in 05 and this Too Cool is just absolutely lovely. It's a shimmery white shade. Certainly not a matte shade and I would not put that on my brow bone. So that's it there. I'm going to do some still photographs at the end of this video just so you can have a nice close-up of what all of these shades look like. So I've used this as people would use NYX Milk Jumbo Eyeshadow Pencil all over my lid. I've used it underneath eyeshadow to really give a nice bright inner corner, first half of my lid, underneath a really pretty just shimmery white shadow that stays a very long time. I really like Too Cool, it's one of my favourites. Next shade I want to show you is the Bold Gold and the Bold Gold is really really lovely. It's a very yellowy gold and you can see it just there underneath the white. Just a really gorgeous shimmery gold shade. This is another one of my favorites and I've just filmed a um, June favorites and it featured in that. I really like this all over the lid as well as an outer V. In fact, I use this one quite a lot with Too Cool. So you can see the um, bronze down here, the third shade down. I often do like my lid and inner corner with the Too Cool and then I'll use the bronze with a brush just in my outer V and they're really, really pretty together. I do really like those shades. Next shade is a ready shade. This one is called Pommy Granite Punk and I really like this one. I've used this with like a 217 to just add some warmth or I've used this all over my lid. It's just a really nice sort of rusty color. It's not as red as you would expect, but it's just a really nice sort of warm, rusty color. Rounding out the neutrals is the Tough as Taupe. And Tough as Taupe is like a matte, but Tough as Taupe is just a lovely sort of gray brown, one of those gray brown purpley shades. You can see it there underneath the pomegranate punk. And that is lovely as a liner. It's lovely in the crease. It's lovely in the outer V. When these first came out on YouTube uh, as available to the American market, it was the toughest taupe that we heard a lot about. And, and I do still really, really like toughest taupe. It's a really nice one. Okay, that's the first five. The next five are going to be more colorful. This one is the orange one and it's called Fierce and Tangy. I really like the name of this shade. Fierce and Tangy is just a nice orange. Like Tough as Taupe, it's also quite matte. So fantastic. That's it up there. 
really fantastic for colourful looks. You could certainly wear that all over your lid, on the inner or outer half, and you could use that for sort of blending out and adding warmth as well to any look. I'm going to show you the green next. The green is called Edgy Emerald. There it is there underneath the Fierce and Tangy. So really, really vibrant, beautiful green shade for those more colourful looks that you may like to do from time to time when you're feeling adventurous. Don't forget that these can be used as liners as well. You could just do like a lovely neutral eye like what I've got on right now and just do a pop of colour as liner underneath. That, that would be a fantastic look that's just sort of right on trend with this colour blocking um, trend right now. This is the blue shade and it's in the colour Tenacious Teal. Like the green, it's really nice and vibrant. It's just a gorgeous pop of colour. That's it there underneath the green. Look at those vibrant green and blue colours. Gorgeous. Now the purple one I have heard mixed reviews about. For some reason it seems quite hard for makeup companies to get purple right. If you're talking about a powder eyeshadow, if you're talking about a liner, a cream product, purple seems to be the one that falls down. If there is any shade in the whole line, a whole range of products, it's the purple one that they have trouble with. Just ask Temptalia, she'll tell you. So this purple is called Painted Purple and I have heard mixed reviews about this purple shade that it just doesn't come out as opaque as the other shades. And just putting it on here, it does take a little Little bit more work to get a drink free color but I think you'd be pretty happy with it if you like purple it's just a gorgeous purple that's it there underneath the blue really really pretty really pretty shade and then the very final color I've used this one as an eyeliner this one in the outer V it's a really nice one it's called audacious Asphalt, number 15, and it's just one of those shimmery grey slate colours would be how I would describe it. It's got fine silver sparkle in it, you can see it just here. So that's Audacious Asphalt. Really you've got like a matte version there with tough as taupe, and then Audacious Asphalt is just a little less purple, but just a really pretty sort of grey with the silver sparkles. That Audacious Asphalt would be really pretty as a liner or all over the lid for a dramatic type look. So there are the 10 colours there. I'm going to do a still photograph for you too at the end of the video if that helped. Before I filmed this video I did do my June favourites video and I applied the too cool and the bad to the bronze on my hand. If I try and rub those off right now with my finger pressing really hard, so they've been on my hand for about 10 minutes, you'll see they are just not budging at all. So that's what people love about these products. You've just got a beautiful sheen, a beautiful lovely finish and it's going to stay all day. So I would thoroughly recommend these. Aussies, I'm just so happy that they're available to us now and at a reasonable price. If your target is out of stock, don't worry. These are permanent as far as I believe. So they will be around and there's always another sale as well that's going to come up with Maybelline. It's always on sale somewhere. So the rules for the giveaway, I have all 10 shades that I have shown you today. This is available internationally. So just make sure that you're over 18 or that you have your parents permission to enter the competition. Um, what all you need to do is enter a comment down below. I want to hear from you what your very favorite video is that I have done on my channel. You do have to be subscribed to my YouTube channel here and I want to hear from you down in the comments down below, not enter me, enter me. Let me know what your favorite is and why. Entries will close on the 15th of July. What I will do is collate all the comments down below underneath this video that mention your favorite video that I have made on this YouTube channel. I'll use a random number generator to find the winner out of all those comments and I will post that in an upcoming video who won the whole set of Maybelline color tattoos. I will be doing some more giveaways this year so do stay tuned to the channel. I want to give back and give thanks to you guys for watching and making this so much fun and enriching for me. I love hearing from you. I love hearing from you when you comment. Do definitely post down below if you have any questions or let me know what your favorite color is as well. Thank you so much for watching. Good luck in the contest. Have a beautiful day and we'll see you all again really soon. Bye.